Hi students. Now I am going to do some important questions in exercise three point two. Isn't it? Here in three point two, the seventh question and the sub question two. Here we want to find x and y. If 2x plus 3y is equal to matrix and 3x plus 2y is another matrix, let me take these two are equation 1 and 2. Now, equation 1 into 2 minus equation 2 into 3, we have multiplying equation 1 by Two. So here it becomes six y. Equation two by three. Here also we get six. Now subtracting, we will eliminate and we get x, isn't it? So four x plus six y is equal to here multiplying by two, four, six, eight, zero. And the second equation by three. So 3, 3, 9x plus 3 into 2, 6y, multiplying every element of this matrix also by 3. So 6 minus 6, minus 3 and 14. Now subtracting means changing the signs and and. Here 6y and 6y. 4x minus 9x minus 5x. Here subtracting 4 minus 6 minus 2. 6 minus minus 6 0. 8 minus minus 3 5. Sorry, 8 minus minus 3 11. 0 minus 15 minus 15. Isn't it? That is 4 minus 6 minus 2. 6 minus minus 6. That is 2. Oh, sorry. 6 minus minus plus 12. Then 8 minus minus 3. That is 11. 0 minus 15. That is minus 15. Isn't it? Now, here we can find x. x is equal to 1 by minus 5 into minus 2, 12, 11, minus 15. So, multiplying by minus uh, 1 by 5. So, x is equal to minus 1 by 5 into minus 2, 2 by 5. Minus 1 by 5 into 12, minus 2 by 5. Minus 11 by 5. Here, minus 15 by minus 5 is 3. Isn't it? This way we can find x. From 1, three y is equal to this matrix 2, 3, 4, 0, minus 2x. Uh, that is 2, 3. 4, 0, minus 2 into x matrix we have 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 minus 11 by 5 3 by 5 3 that is that is equal to once again, 2, 3, 4, 0. Multiplying by 2. 4 by 5. Then minus 24 by 5. Then minus 22 by 5. And uh, 6. Now, we have 2 minus 4 by 5. 
3 minus minus 24 by 5 4 minus minus 22 by 5 0 minus 6 here 3y is equal to 10 minus 4 by 5 15 plus 24 by 5 20 plus 22 by 5 minus 6 therefore y is equal to 1 by 3 into here 6 by 5 39 by 5 42 by 5 and minus 6 that is equal to 1 that is equal to 6 by 3 is 2 by 5 39 by 3 13 by 5 42 by 3 13 42 14 by 5 and uh, minus 2 this is y the third question in the exercise 3.2 is 3 into xy z w is equal to xx minus 1 to w plus 4 x plus y z plus w 3 here we have 3x 3y 3z 3w is equal to adding these two matrices we have x plus 4 6 plus uh, x plus y minus 1 plus z plus w 2w plus 3 Now, using the equality of matrices we have 3x is equal to x plus 4 3x minus x is equal to 4 2x is equal to 4 Therefore, x is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2 Here we get the value of x Now, 3y is equal to 6 plus x plus y so 3y minus uh, y is equal to 6 plus x is 2 2y is equal to 8 therefore y is equal to 4 8 by 2 is 4 3w is equal to here 3w is equal to 2w plus 3 therefore 3w minus 2w is equal to 3 therefore w is equal to 3 the value of w is equal to 3 now we can find this side 3z is equal to minus 1 plus z plus w here z comes to a larger 3z minus z is equal to minus 1 plus the value of w is 3 so 2 is is equal to 2, therefore this sub is equal to 1. Therefore x is equal to y is equal to 4, w is equal to 3 and sub is equal to 1. Isn't it? 13 question. If the of x is equal to cos x minus sin x 0 sin x of cos x of 0 0 0 1 here show that f of x of in the f of y is equal to f of x plus y here we have f of x is equal to this therefore f of y is equal to instead of x y so it becomes cos y 
माइनस साइन वाई से हो साइन वाई कोस वाई से हो से हो से हो वन इज एन एंड एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल पर एक्स इज इक्वल एक्स प्लस वाई सो वी हैव कोस एक्स प्लस वाई माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस वाई से हो साइन एक्स प्लस वाई कोस एक्स प्लस वाई से हो से हो से हो वन इज इन इट नाउ वी हैव दी प्रोडक्ट एफ ऑफ एक्स इन दी एफ ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई नाउ लेट अस इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इन दी एफ ऑफ वाई That is f of x is cos x minus sin x zero. Sin x uh, cos x uh, zero. Zero zero one into cos y minus sin y zero. साइन वाई कोस वाई सेरो 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 वन इज इन इट नाउ वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू मैट्रिसेस हाउ हाउ वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई द मैट्रिसेस रो इन टू कॉलम बेस फर्स्ट रो इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम फर्स्ट रो इन द सेकंड कॉलम फर्स्ट रो इन द थर्ड कॉलम सिमिलरली सेकंड रो इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकंड रो इन द सेकंड कॉलम सेकंड रो इन द थर्ड कॉलम सिमिलरली Third row in the first column, third row in the second column, third row in the third column. That we have studied. Here we are multiplying these two matrices. Cos x in the cos y, cos x cos y plus minus sin x in the sin y minus sin x sin y plus zero in the zero zero. Is it? Now again. First row in the second column, cos x in the minus sine y, minus cos x sine y, cos x sine y, plus minus sine x in the cos y, minus sine x cos y, plus zero in the zero, that is zero. Again, cos x in the zero, that is zero. Then. Minus sine x in the zero, zero. Then zero into one. That is also zero. Now we have now blocks. Similarly, second row in the first column. Sine x in the cos y. Sine x cos y plus cos x in the sine y. Cos x sine y plus zero into zero, zero. Again, sin x into minus sin y, minus sin x sin y, plus cos x in the cos y, cos x cos y, plus zero into zero, that is zero. Again, sin x into zero zero, cos x into zero zero, zero into one zero, zero plus zero plus zero, isn't it? Now. Third row in the first column, zero in the cos y zero, zero in the sin y zero, one in the zero zero, zero plus zero plus zero. Next, zero in the sin y zero, zero in the cos y zero, one in the zero. Again, we have zero plus zero plus zero, and uh, zero in the zero zero, zero in the zero zero, one in the one in the one one. That is zero plus zero plus one, isn't it? Now we have cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Cos x into cos y <coughs> minus sin x sin y. Next, uh, if we take a minus outside, sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. And I'm rewriting this: sin x into cos y plus cos x into sin y. 
next to our symbol. Here, sin x goes y plus cos x sin y. Sin x into cos y plus cos x into sin y. Here, cos x cos y. I am writing cos x cos y first, then minus sin x sin y, then 0. Now 0, 0, 1. Now it is in a standard form cos a cos b minus sin a sin b that is cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y cos a plus b. So here cos x plus y cos x plus y here minus here sin x into cos y plus cos x into sin y sin x plus y minus of sin x plus y zero. Here also sin x plus y. Here cos x plus y. 0, 0, 0, 1. Here is, this is the fourth x plus, isn't it? This uh, you can take this expression as 1, which is equal to f of x plus y is equal to us from 1 is equal to us this way we can prove f of x in the form is equal to x plus next portion is matrix polynomial matrix we know that the general form of a polynomial B, the general form of a polynomial B, P of X is equal to A and x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus a n minus etc plus a 3 n do x cube plus a 2 n do x square plus a1 into x plus a0 where an is not equal to 0 and an an minus 1 an minus 2 etc etc a3 a2 a1 a0 are constants and are known as coefficients of the polynomial p of x isn't it if a b a square matrix, if capital A B A square matrix, then P of A is equal to A n into A raised to n plus A n minus 1 into A raised to n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 in the raised to n minus 2 plus x plus a 3 into a cube plus a 2 into a square plus a 1 into a plus a 0 and a n is not equal to 0 is known as a matrix polynomial is known as a matrix of polynomial, isn't it? Now, one. If A is a square matrix, square matrix, then a square is 
a into a a cube is a square into a a raised to 4 is a cube into a etc a raised to n is a raised to n minus 1 into a how to find a square multiply a by a isn't it suppose a is equal to 3 2 1 4 a square is equal to 3 square 2 square 1 square 4 square that is equal to 3 square is 9 4 1 16 this is not a square how to find a how we can find a square a square is obtained by multiplying a by a not taking the square of a isn't it but a square is equal to but a square is equal to a into a here a matrix is 3 2 1 4 and uh, again write a matrix 3 2 1 4 now multiplying these two matrices. So 3 3 is 9 plus 2 into 1 2. Again 3 into 2 6 plus 8. Now 3 plus 4 and uh, 2 plus 16. That is 11, 14, 7, 18. This is a square, isn't it? To find a square, multiply a matrix by itself. That is a square. And uh, how to find a cube? A cube is equal to a square in the a. Here is where we have 11, 14, 7, 18 into a matrix is again 3, 2, 1, 4. Now 11 plus are 33. 33 plus 14, 22 plus 56, 21 plus 18 and 14 plus 72. Here 47. Here 78. Then 49. And uh, 76. This is a cube. Isn't it? 15 to 6. If a is equal to matrix. Two zero one two one three one minus one zero five a square minus five a plus six a. Here a square is equal to a into a that is. 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0 into 2, 0 again, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0. You should practice matrix multiplication for isn't it? Otherwise, sir, we cannot do all these problems. Now, 2, 2 star 4, 2 into 2, 4 plus 0 plus 1, again 0 plus 0 plus minus 1, 
again 2 plus 0 plus 0 now multiplying by second row into a column second column third column 4 plus 2 plus 3 now 0 plus 1 plus minus 3 Now 2 plus 3 plus 0. Now 2 plus minus 2 plus 0. 0 plus minus 1 plus 0. Now 1 plus minus 3 plus 0. So we get a square as 5 minus 1 2 9 minus 2 5 0 minus 1 minus 2 isn't it here we can find a square like this now we need 5 a and 6 a now we can find the uh, a square minus now a square minus 5a a square is 5a minus 1 2 then 9 minus 2 5 then 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus uh, 5a means multiplying a by 5 multiplying the matrix A by 5 5 to are 10 5 into 0 0 5 into 1 5 similarly 10 5 15 and uh, 5 minus 5 0 is it now subtract from these two matrices Five minus ten is minus five. Minus one minus zero minus one. Two minus five minus three. Nine minus ten minus one. Minus two minus five minus seven. Five minus seventeen minus ten. Zero minus five minus five. Minus one plus five four. Minus two minus zero is minus two. This is a square minus five. Now we have to find the expression is equal to therefore a square minus 5a plus 6 or a square minus 5a is minus 5 or minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 7 minus 10 minus 5 or 4 minus 2 and uh, since uh, a is a square matrix of order 3 Therefore, I is an identity matrix of order 3. We take an identity matrix of order 3. Identity matrix of order 3 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, is it? So, <coughs> here it becomes 6 into y, that is 6, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 6. Now, adding these two matrices, we will get the final answer. Minus 5 plus 6 is 1. Minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 minus 1 minus 10. Minus 5 uh, 4 4. This is the answer x square minus 5 a plus 6. You try to do the 60 question. If you cannot, I will help you. Okay. 70 questions. If A is equal to if A is equal to three minus two, four minus two, and I is equal to one zero zero. 
find k so that find k so that k square is equal to k minus 2i k minus 2i here first find a square a square is equal to k into a so 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 into again 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 isn't it now 3 3 is our minus plus minus 8 minus 6 plus 4 12 minus 8 minus 8 plus 4 so 8 minus 9 minus 8 is 1 minus 2 4 minus 4 isn't it this is a square now we are going to find k and 2 given that a square is equal to k minus 2i. I am taking this sign 2i into LHS. So a square plus 2i is equal to k or k is equal to k is equal to a square plus 2i. Now the value of a square is 1 minus 2 and 4 minus 4 plus 2 i is an identity matrix of order of 2 since a is an matrix of order of 2 i is also a matrix of order of 2 2 i means 2 0 0 2 that is 1 plus 2 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 this is k a means multiply with the matrix k by k so 3 k k into 3 3 k minus 2 k then 4 k minus 2 k now we can equate the elements 3 k is equal to 3 Therefore, the value of k is equal to 3 by 3 is 1, isn't it? This is the value of k. If I put k is equal to 1, 3 into 1, 3, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, 4 into 1, 4, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, isn't it? Therefore, k is 1. Follow this. Now, we can do this. If k is equal to 0 minus tan alpha by 2, tan alpha by 2, 0, and uh, i is the identity matrix, and i is the identity matrix. matrix of order 2 so that i plus a is equal to i minus a into cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha Here let tan alpha by 2 is equal to t then sin alpha is equal to 2 tan alpha by 2 by 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 
so 2t by 1 plus t square isn't it here let us take tan alpha by it is equal to t sin alpha is equal to so quantity triangle 2 tan alpha by 2 by 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 replacing the value of tan alpha by 2 here that is 2t by 1 plus t square and cos alpha is equal to 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 by 1 plus tan square alpha by 2 so it becomes 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square isn't it now LHS is equal to i plus a I is an identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 of order of 2 since A is a square matrix of order of 2. A matrix is 1 minus 1 minus the tan alpha by 3 is T. Similarly, T 0. So we get. That is not 1. 0 minus t is 0. Now 1 plus 0 is 1 minus t t 1. This is equation number 1. Isn't it? Now find i minus a. i matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. And uh, a matrix is 0 minus t t is so we get 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus minus plus t 0 minus t minus t 1 minus 0 is 1 now r this is equal to i minus a into cos alpha cos alpha is same as 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square minus sin alpha is minus 2t by 1 plus t square sin alpha is 2t by 1 plus t square and the cos alpha is 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square isn't it From all these terms, we can take on 1 by 1 plus t square. That is, i minus a matrix is 1, t minus t 1 into 1 by 1 plus t square is common. And uh, here it becomes 1 minus t square minus 2t, 2t, 1 minus t square, isn't it? Now 1 by 1 plus t square into 1 divided by 1 plus t square into we can multiply these two matrices 1t minus t1 into 1 minus t square minus 2t, 2t, 1 minus t square not 1 minus t square, 1 plus t square. Oh, sorry, 1 minus t square. That is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus t square into 1 into 1 minus t square, 1 minus t square plus t into 2t, 2t two square. Again, 1 into minus 2t, minus 2t plus t into 1 minus t square t into 1 minus t square similarly minus t into 1 minus t square plus 1 into 2t 2t minus t into 2t plus 2t square plus 1 into 1 minus t square, 1 minus t square. Is it? Now, 
1 divided by 1 plus t square into minus t square plus 2 t square plus t, t square 1 plus t square minus 2 t minus uh, plus t plus into minus minus uh, t cube here minus t minus into minus plus t square plus 2 t here 2 t square minus t square t square t square plus 1 1 plus t square t square plus 1 is same as 1 plus t square isn't it here 1 by 1 plus t square into 1 plus t square here 2 t plus t minus 2 t not 2 t minus 2 t plus t minus t minus t cube 2 t minus t t plus t square t plus t cube not t square t plus t cube then 1 plus t square isn't it now we have 1 by 1 plus t square into you can eliminate some steps in the examination but here for understanding we have to find all the steps now 1 plus t square here minus t is common 1 plus t square here t is common 1 plus t square here 1 plus t square now we can take 1, 1 plus t square outside that is uh, 1 divided by 1 plus t square into 1 plus t square is common then we have 1 minus t t1 here these two get cancelled now we have 1 minus t t1 this is equation number 2 first equation is 1 minus t t1 second is equation also 1 minus t t1 is it from 1 and 2 we can say that from 1 and 2 hence The next question is the 19th question. You should write the question on your notebook. The first fund has to be 30,000 that must be invested into two different types of bonds. The first bond pays 5% interest per year, and the second bond pays 7% interest per year. Using matrix multiplication, determine how to divide rupees 30,000 among two types of bonds. If the trust fund must obtain an annual total interest of first question is rupees 1800 and uh, second question is rupees 2000, isn't it? Now, here the trust fund 30,000 must be invested in two different types of bonds. Let the investment in the first fund. Let the investment in one one is equal to this x. Therefore, the investment in the second one, investment in the second one in one two. Z equal to this 30,000 minus x. Is it? Now using matrices, using matrices, we have A is equal to x 30 minus x. 
and uh, b is equal to 5 percent 7 percent first one pays 5 percent interest rate and the second one pays 7 percent interest rate yes it first question is the interest rate one year is rupees 1800 so ab is equal to 1800 the matrix a is x of uh, 3000 minus x matrix uh, b is uh, 5 percentage 7 percentage that is equal to matrix 1800 is it now x in u 5 percent plus uh, 3000 minus x into 7 percent is equal to 1800 5 percent means 5 by 100 is it? so x into 5 by 100 of this 3000 minus x of into 7 by 100 of is equal to 1800 now multiply over by 100, we have 5x, 210000 minus 7x of is equal to 180000, multiply over by 5 5x minus 7x is minus 2x. Here 180000 minus 210000. So, minus 2x uh, is equal to minus uh, 30,000. Therefore, x is equal to minus 30,000 divided by minus 2, that is 15,000. Therefore, the trust of inverse, the trust inverse rupees 50,000 in one one at five percent and interest and rupees so thirty thousand minus fifteen thousand again fifteen thousand in bond two second bond at seven percent interest is it? Resistance. Now, one more question is there. If the trust inverse first bond and second bond like this at the rate of 2000 in the rate, so we have to change 2000 instead of 1800, then it will be the second bond. A small change is here, here it becomes 2000 and uh, here it is 2000. So 2000. Therefore, here we have 20,000. Two, two lakhs, is it? Now, 2 lakhs minus 2 lakhs 10,000, so it becomes minus 10,000. Therefore, x is equal to 5000. Therefore, the trust of inverse of is 1000 in first bond and it is 5 percent. And uh, 13000 minus 5000 that is 25000 in second bond at uh, 7 percent interest rate, isn't it? The uh, next question is the bookshop of a next question is the 20th question. The bookshop of a particular school has 10 dozen chemistry books, 8 dozen physics books, 10 dozen economics books. Their selling prices are rupees 80, 60, and 40 each respectively. For the total amount the book will receive, sorry, the bookshop will receive from selling all the books using matrix algebra. This is the second question. Here, number of chemistry books is equal to 
ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नंबर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बुक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन डसन ए डसन मीन्स सर ट्वेल्व बॉक्स सो टेन इंटू ट्वेल्व वन ट्वेंटी बुक्स द रिसोर्स ऑफ टेन डसन इज इक्वल टू टेन इंटू ट्वेल्व द रिसोर्स Selling prices are given. Selling prices. Rupees of eighty, sixty, and forty. And forty respectively. Therefore, using matrix multiplication, we have. Here, let A is equal to one twenty ninety six one twenty. B is equal to selling prices are eighty, sixty, and forty. Therefore, total amount received is equal to matrix A B. So, one twenty ninety six one twenty into eighty sixty. So using matrix multiplication, we have one twenty into eighty plus ninety six into sixty plus one twenty into forty, isn't it? So ninety six zero zero, five seven six zero plus four eight zero zero. That is equal to. Twenty thousand one hundred and sixty. Therefore, the total amount of receivable is equal to this twenty thousand one hundred and sixty. Is it? Now we have two more questions. A part question, multiple choice questions. Assume x of y is at W and P are matrices. X cot of of x is two by n. Order of Y, order of W, order of sorry, order of is at the order of W and order of P. These are the only. Y is a three by K. Is at the is two by P. W is n by P. And P is the P by P. These are the given matrices. Now, twenty-first question is the restriction on N K and P. The restriction on N K and P. So that P Y plus, so that P Y plus W Y will be defined. Will be defined. Our the options are given. Let me check which one will be the option. P Y is possible. P is P by K and uh, Y is three by K. P Y if P Y is possible, then K is equal to three. Or from this, we can say that the value of K is. Now. W Y is possible. The order of W is n by three, and uh, Y is again three by three by k. So W Y is possible here. Number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix are same. 
and the product matrix W Y is in the order of n by k. Similarly, P Y is also in the order P by k. Here the order is n by k. Here the value of k is three. Here also three. Now P is equal to n. P is equal to n. Here our options. K is equal to three and P is equal to n. First option is the answer. Option A. K is equal to three and P is equal to n. This is the answer. Okay. Now second question. If n is equal to p, then this second question. If n is equal to p, then the order of the matrix, order of the matrix, seven x minus five is seven x minus five is at the is. Here the order of x is. If two matrices are conformable for addition as well as subtraction, they are of the same order. Therefore, the order of x and order of z are same. Here the order of x is two by n, and the order of z is two by n. But these two are answers, isn't it? Either two by n or two by p. Both are same. Now let us check the options. Here option A is p by three. Option B is two by n. Option C is n by three. And option D is p by n. Here the answer is two by n. As the last two by here two by n is here, so b is the answer, isn't it? Thus we have completed all the problems that have little confusion. Now you should complete all the problems in the exercises, and if you find any difficulty to do, then please inform me. Okay? In this topic. We have three general principles. First one is if a square is equal to a, then the matrix the matrix a is called idem for pan matrix. If a square is equal to a, then the matrix is known as a minimum open matrix. Second norm is if a square is equal to i, an identity matrix, then the matrix, then a is known as, then the matrix a. Then the matrix A is known as in volatile matrix. In volatile matrix. And if a square is equal to zero, a zero matrix, then the matrix A is known as a nil. A nil for ten minutes. A nil for ten minutes. Or an end on here. An end for ten. An end for ten. An end for ten. Isn't it? 